You're in for a treat now, folks. It's time to look back at one of our favorite episodes of the Cocklebur Morning Show. Our Story Productions presents the Cocklebur Morning Show, where we weed out the big stories from throughout Sweet Swan County with Bobby Ray and Sally Sue. Oh, thank you, thank you, and welcome to our show today, and what a fantastic show we have. Yes, we do. And we have to welcome you back. Thank you, Sally Sue. Oh, I appreciate that very much. Oh, we missed you so much. Yep. Where were you for two whole weeks? No explanation. Mm. You just made that call. Well, the situation was this, Sally Sue. Okay. I have become, let's just say, really good friends with Clarice Plow from Hidden Away not forgotten. Clarice Plow. Mm -hmm. Didn't she write that book? Oh yeah. About the yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. women of Sweet Swine County? Yeah, it's entitled Not So Sweet, a real page turner, let me tell you. It's kind of a tell -all. Anyway, Clarice, mm -hmm. oh yeah, kind of. Yeah. Anyway, Clarice asked if I would help uh, with the book tour. Oh really? Yes, so I, you know, I tagged along and I thought I could pick up some historical sites uh -huh. along the way uh -huh. as well. And, um, and, and also, you know, be able to find out some more about those people that we could use against, I mean, <laughs> just yeah. more research. Yeah, Re research is always good, but oh, mm -hmm. um, Bobby Ray, honestly, two weeks, two whole weeks. Well, I thought that I'd be back by showtime, uh -huh. but you know, to get that kind of information, I had to wine and I had to dine. I spent my entire expense account on oh, Clarice. Your whole expense? The whole thing. I spent wow. every dime. I spent wow. so much money I had to walk back to oh Sweet Swine County. God. I had a hitchhike. <laughs> well, you must have done something really good because we got something. I have a note. What did we get? We got a present. It we, says Bobby Ray and Sally Sue. Just a little present for promoting the book Clarice wrote, Love the Women of Sweet Swine County. And I'm sure the hugs and kisses are for you. Okay. But, but what did we get? Close your eyes. Okay. <laughs> what do you think? Oh. I, I, I'm thinking the note is sweeter than the gift. They must be confused. I'm Those thinking. poor girls, it's not the cockle bird no, morning no, show. No, no, no. It's the cockle bird morning <laughs> you show. Know. But you know, they're a, they're a little bit behind the curve. And the elevator doesn't go to the top yeah. floor, but that's okay. And if, you know, if you read the book, there's well, let me a tell lot you. there let that me has tell you. problems and Oh, let me tell and you. Issues. And I got some scoop right now. Why don't we invite our guest oh, out today? Yes. I'm telling you, I'm excited about this. I am too. I oh. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, our guest today is well known on national TV, has been on various talk shows. We are so pleased and proud to have with us today Martin County's own Tron guy, Jay Maynard. Oh, Welcome, yes. Jay. Welcome. Welcome. Jay, to our show. It's a delight to have you here. I'm happy to be here. Jay, it is a pleasure to have you here, but I have a question. Mm -hmm. Where in the heck did you get that suit? <laughs> I had it custom made. Really? Um, the, uh, the, the, the characters in the movie Tron, if you right, look, right. Uh, their, their bodies are all green. And, and the po folks who, uh, other folks who made costumes like this, they tended to make them out of white, and I felt that was kind of you know, kind of wimping out on it. Mm -hmm. So I actually went to Fleet and picked this color <laughs> of paint and painted up the identity disc here identity disc. and sent it off to a lady who I dealt with before and had her make the unitard custom to my size and, cust wow. and match the color. Wow. That, is, that so, is very unique. So mm -hmm. what did you use? I mean, there's there's soft this pieces, is, hard pieces. Yes, what the, did you mm -hmm. use to make the, it? The soft pieces are all cotton spandex. Okay. Uh, it's actually one one piece covers the entire body. Oh, really? Um, this is the same kind of hockey helmet that they actually used oh. in the movie. Um, and that's and an actual hockey that's helmet? That's an actual Cooper hockey helmet. Wow, yeah, and you have all the wires? Identity disc. That's the identity disc. Genuine, Look at that. genuine wow. whammo. Uh, <laughs> this is... <laughs> This, this is form PVC, and that's a football shoulder guard. Oh, uh, really? Wow. Wow. I'm, wow. You know, Amazing. And I understand, because I've watched a couple of your national oh, broadcast yes. programs. Impressive. All very much so. Yes. And I, and I want to know how the web helped you. But before you answer that, I think I'd like to give our viewers a treat. And let's see what Tron Guy looks like. <gasps> Lit up, lights off. <gasps> oh. Louie? 
hit the lights. Oh! Oh, wow! Look at that clip. I loved it. Wow! So now, as I was asking you now, how did the web help this all take off for you? Uh, without the web, it wouldn't have happened at all. Okay. Wow. As I was making the costume, I was getting help from a lady in New York City. Really? really? So getting from here to New York City wow. is not something you just jump in your car and drive across town no. to do. Yeah. Yeah. So I took pictures as I was going along and, and put them together for a web page for her so she could see the progress and give me hints. When it was done, I said, okay, fine. Maybe other folks would like to make a costume like this. So I put the page up on the web for everybody to look at. And it became one of those pages that everybody emailed all their friends. Hey, you got to go check out this web page. And so and without the web, it wouldn't have happened at all. That's amazing. Now, in part of what I, I watched, you were at a convention, a computer convention, an electronics convention. It's, Why don't you explain that to um, us? It's, the, it's actually a combination science fiction and computing convention. Okay. Uh, it, it turns out that the kind of people who go to, to, go to either of those, there's a lot of overlap. Mm. Somebody notices, hey, let's, let's make one that does both. And that was the first, one, first science fiction convention I'd ever been to. So I, I went to that, saw a masquerade, thought, hey, you know, it'd be interesting to try to make a costume. And being a combination science fiction and computer convention, I thought Tron, being a movie, a science fiction movie mm -hmm. about computing, would sure. be a subject to draw from. Well, that's interesting. brilliant. Interesting. Wonderful. So when you're not Tron guy, what do you do? in the real world. How do you know he doesn't do anything else except Tron Guy? <laughs> no, I, 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 I wish I could make a living off of this, but uh, no, um, big surprise, I'm a computer consultant. Oh, oh that, I'm hello. shocked. Yes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do computers for a living. Oh, that makes okay. Sense. Neat. That Neat. makes sense. So did you dress up a lot when you were a little kid? No, not really. Really? Um, no. I really didn't do anything in the way of costuming with one exception, uh, until this happened. The one uh -huh. exception being Renaissance fairs. Oh, uh, yeah, I'd go to those in yeah. garden. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, oh. the, the lady I bought the unitard from was the lady who I'd bought my tights for my Renaissance clothing from. I understand. Oh, now, that lady okay. that you bought your unitard from, is she from New York? Is that the lady you're speaking no, of? No, okay. uh, uh, she was in Indiana. Really? And that, yeah, that's where wow. she was. So the, the lady in New York is, yes. a, is, a, is a good friend who I'd met sometime okay. before. And she, okay. she helped me with things like paint and okay. you know, the, the techniques of doing it. Gave you some technical right. ideas. Now, when you were at that convention, did, I'll bet you got a lot, of, a lot of looks, didn't you? Well, I, did, I kept it very closely under wraps until the time of the contest. It was a masquerade costume contest. <clears throat> and the reason I did that is that... I, one of the judges at, of that contest was a friend. Okay. Oh, okay. So I, w I wanted to avoid trading on that friendship. Mm -hmm. So I kept it very closely held until it came time for everybody to get together to, uh, to, to have the costumes inspected before the actual uh, presentation. Mm -hmm. And I, I was standing around in the hall just outside the room where we were meeting. And it turns out that that she was the first one to walk up and see me. And she took one look at me and said, wow. And that was the reaction pretty much the entire weekend. Awesome. That's great. How many people were there approximately? About 500. Wow. And when I made the costume, I expected maybe 500 people would ever see it. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> you around the world how many times? Uh, yeah, yes. it's, um, it, it's gone well beyond anything that I had ever imagined. So what other TV shows have you appeared on? I mentioned a couple of national mm -hmm. ones. I was just I, uh, I was on Jimmy Kimmel Live a bunch wow. the year that this happened. Really? Um, and what so, year was that, Jay? That was 2004. 2004. So wow. Five and a half years ago now. Okay. It seems like a lifetime. <laughs> uh, but I've also been, uh, been parody on South Park. Oh. And <gasps> they, uh, and, and I had no idea that was coming. They didn't. They didn't ask me. They didn't tell me. I, the first I knew about it was when this same lady in New York uh, sends me an instant message on the computer says, turn on Comedy Central now. And we did, and there I was. Um, the, my only complaint about that segment is that they got the voice wrong. <laughs> I, I mean, listen to me. Do I sound like I'm from Minnesota? Yes. yes. <laughs> Uh, sorry. Say something sorry. with an O in yeah. it. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mi yeah. Minnesota. Yeah. There yeah. you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah pretty yeah. much. I'm pretty sorry. much. I'm. Well, see, I'm from Houston originally. You've got oh, a little see? southern twang. I thought uh -huh. I heard that. Okay. 
And so they made me sound like I like I was from Minnesota, don't you know? Oh, they get the you betcha, uh, yeah, sure. Eh? Not quite, but it but <laughs> it made it you could hear it in there. Okay. Uh, so the voice was wrong. Other than that, you know, it, it wasn't bad. That's great. That's um and I've been on Tech TV G four a few times and most recently on Tosh Zero on Comedy Central. Oh really? That was just a month ago. That's oh, great. And what yeah. was on that was on what program on Comedy it was Central? Tosh Zero. Tosh Zero. Okay. Oh. I've not watched that one yet. I haven't either. Nope. No. Um so now with all this national acclaim, how has that certainly has changed your life a little Oy. bit? How has that? I refer to it as when my life got turned upside down. Really? Um, the, the, the convention was the weekend of tax day 2004. Okay. And in the run up to that, you know, I'm just uh, your average computer consultant and, and toiling anonymously in Fairmont. And then the next week, every, it seemed like every radio station was calling me asking for an interview. And I, was, I did a lot of those. The folks from Kimmel called. Um, and it's for a guy who's never had any of that kind of exposure it's really something to get off of an airplane and suddenly turn into somebody important they had you know <laughs> chauffeured limo at the airport take put me up in wow. a nice hotel just down the street from the studio wow. the whole nine yards that's great that's that wonderful. had to be and now you've been there how many times uh the total is now 16. Wow. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Yes. And I had a lot of fun doing that. I can imagine. Wow, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, right in Fairmont, Martin County. Right next right. door. In Sweet Spine County, yep. yes. Amazing. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, Jay, what are your future plans for Tron Guy? Generally, what I've found is that people that promote themselves on the Internet get shot down in flames. Uh, the Internet is probably the best detector there is of, oh, let's say pig exhaust. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. Yes. <clears throat> so, I'll, I'll, take, I'll take it as it comes. Well, I'll tell you what, I just have one favor before we have you leave. Mm -hmm. Do us both a favor mm -hmm. and do not appear on the show Women of yes. Sweet Swine County. You cannot go there. That, I mean, okay. we, we really worked hard to get you here, so uh, we prefer that you not be on the Women of Sweet Oh, Swine. Okay. okay, competition. Yes, yeah. kind uh, of, just a little. Just a little. Okay. Thank you, Jay, for Thank coming today. Yes. It was a delight having you. You're certainly welcome. Thank you to our citizens for their reports, mm -hmm. and to you, our viewers, for Absolutely. watching the Cockerbur Morning Show, where we read out the big stories throughout Sweet Swine County. Bye-bye for now. Bye, y'all. Hi, I'm Charles Cornrault, and you probably know me from the TV show Tuesday Afternoon. Well, enough about me. Join my fellow celebrities as we take a look at small town living at its best. In the county of Martin, the town of Fairmont, Minnesota, you will find our story productions. In 2007, Jeff and Denise Rouse had a goal to produce a television program that would highlight the businesses, organizations, events, and people of their community. After hiring a local production company and recruiting friends and community members to volunteer, they began one of the most unique programs on TV. Because of their unique and, dare we say, corny programming, the show gained popularity. With their popularity, other communities began to contact them to see if they could become part of the Our Story family. New programs were added, additional volunteers were recruited, the Our Story team discovered some of the best stories were coming out of some of the smallest towns. So the decision was made to feature as many of the small towns as possible, no matter how small. They believe that every town has a story, and they all need to be told. Today, with staff that included over 60 volunteers, the television show Our Story, Small Town Living at Its Best, spotlights over 225 small communities in four states and has told over 1,500 stories about the communities in the upper Midwest. Each show is aired in over one million households on cable television, as well as on their website, YouTube, and Facebook, and yes, even Pinterest. Our Story Productions continues to receive requests to join Our Story family and welcomes communities to email them to have their businesses, organizations, events, or people featured. Our Story Productions is proud to be sharing the lifestyle that we share in the small towns of the Upper Midwest, for it's not just the past, but the present that becomes Our Story.